with Allah and then visiting Factor E Farm, where we make magic come to life. And this is our goat feeder. Not complete as yet. All it is is a simple strip of the lathing material that they had left over from their construction projects. I think they were doing a cordwood building, and they used this lathing for the cross pieces on the roof. And now we're using these leftover pieces of uneven sort of scrap lathing that's got a block cut off as the parts of the scope feeder. Basically, um, goats shouldn't be eating off of the ground because if they eat off the ground, they can pick up parasites which can set them off and they can sick kill your goats. So you want a feeder that's up off the ground at least four inches and it's better for it to be right where the goat will graze because like a deer, a goat is a grazing animal. So we're creating a space where the goat can graze the alfalfa or whatever else lovely foods we give them in this trench at a height where a little goat can reach up and a big goat can reach in. So whether they get pygmy African goats later, or they have nice large Newfoundlands or whatever they call them, any type of goat, a Nubian goat or whatever, they can drop their head in and eat from all sides of this lovely treasure, which will be finished off just like that. So let's go. We're going to screw it together. Secure all of the sides. So this is a cross brace to hold the hay inside. It's got a tilt it up on its side and the hay will fall in like this. That's all I needed. Okay. Help. Okay. Et voila! Finished goat feeder. There you go, goat.